So. <coughs> All right, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. go for it. Okay, yeah. well, in 1938, my dad bought a, a, a moving picture camera from a man by the name of uh, Phil Rose. You know who Phil Rose was? He had a jewelry store downtown. Oh, okay. But in those days, he sold photography equipment. And he, I was born in 38, and he was going to photograph me coming home from the hospital. So what he did was he went down to the, to the uh, Oakdale Park, about where Salina Journal is now, and photographed the river because it was flooding at that time. And he has a whole roll of film that, that he photographed of the flood and of the water you can't see you can't see beyond the water I mean it's flooded that far oh really uh, really that was in 38 that was in 1938 I was born in August of 1938 and they had big flood it flooded all the time I'll be uh, darned. now they you know they're getting ready to resurrect it <laughs> and I it, I assume that they have more uh, flood control than they had in those days. But They're leaving the flood control in place. They're not going to take out any of that uh, stuff they put in. There was a, uh, uh, a boat dock right where the Salina Journal was, except down on the river, and you, you could rent a rope, uh, a canoe, you know, and canoe up and down that, that river. Did you ever do that? Uh, I never had enough money to do that. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I mean, it was, it, you got to, it's, you got to, it, it probably cost a quarter, you know, to rent a canoe or something like that, but that was a lot of money in those days. <laughs> but, uh, when they filmed Picnic, I watched them film it. Uh, the, it was filmed where the Western Star Mill is right now. Okay. And I, uh, my father was in the milling business. He was he was a superintendent of those mills, and so I was able to go up in the up in the building and, and watch them film it. And it was uh, it was very boring. There are you know they would spend hours getting people into place and getting the cameras, you know, and then they made maybe shoot three or four minutes worth of film and then they'd go and do something else and shoot three or four it's it, 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 motion pictures are just pieced together of short segments uh the dam if you've seen the movie if the dam where uh, that he hid underneath when the police were trying to find him uh that was filmed in hutchison but uh, they, but the 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 mill and the and the uh, silos, grain silos, were filmed here, and he he ran along that railroad track, you know, and hid underneath the the uh, waterfall, and that waterfall wasn't here; it was over in, in Hutchinson, as I understood it. Okay. Uh, but while they were here. Uh, Kim Novak, who was a very young girl in those days, she was probably in her very early 20s, uh, that was invited by the drama department at Salina High School to come and talk to them about, you know, acting and the motion picture business. And I was a proctor. Do they have proctors today? People that sat in desks in the hallways. I don't think they do. Well, uh, in those days, uh, you you would sit at a desk during your study period. You had six hours. Five hours were class and one hour was study hall. Yeah, I mean, and if you were a, a reasonably good student, you could be a proctor and sit in the hallway. And that you were then, you greeted people when they came in. Uh, Salina High was, uh, I was the first class to go all the way through Salina High. I was a freshman when, uh, and, and, and went through Salina High School. And, and that's and central a, now? My, I was a class of 56, and that class was the first class to go all, all the way through Salina High. What happened before that? Uh, well, they had Washington. 
Oh, okay. Washington was uh, 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 was over on uh, well, it was across from Oakdale Park, and it was a great big red brick building. My sister, who was four years older than I was, she went, she graduated from Washington, and I graduated from Salina High School. I was my class, the class of '56, was the first one to go all the way through the, uh, uh, all three or four grades of it. Wow. Washington was like where the the water plant is? No, you know, I've forgotten the name of that street, but you know, when you go into Oakdale Park, there's a bridge across there. Uh -huh. And to the left, before you reach that, was the Washington High School. It was that there's a big lot there now. Oh, okay. And uh, uh, it, they, they were doing with it what they did with a lot of schools. They would bring in barracks and things from, uh, from the uh, air base and use them as classrooms. And so she, she, she went through it, uh, and she was in the drama department uh, for quite a bit. She, she did a lot of acting, too, now, and so, singing. Okay. Salina High is the That's was the building that Central is now, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah we didn't call it Central. It, okay. There, it was the only high school else except for Sacred Heart. Okay, okay. All right. So you were a proctor. I was a proctor. My job was to sit out there for that hour that you had off and study, and uh, which I didn't do a whole lot of. And, <laughs> And when people came into the building, my job was to show them where they were, where where to go, because it was such an enormous building in those days. <laughs> and uh, uh, Kim Novak and her entourage came to Salida High School to visit the drama department. Jack Kelly was uh, head of the of uh, of. Uh, at the, at the drama department at Salina High. And so she came in. Uh, she was a pretty girl, but she had enough, you could scrape the makeup off her face with a putty knife. But that's, I mean, that's what they did in the movies. They put a lot of makeup on. She was a very pretty girl. And she didn't really speak much. She just said hello to me. but. But the uh, the people that were with her, the men that were with her, wanted to to go up to the drama department. So I took them up to the second floor, uh, and and took them down to where the, the I don't know where the the drama department is today, but took her down took them down to that, and then that's all I did. I visited with them a little, welcomed them to Salina, I guess, and that's about all I did. <laughs> Not anything very spectacular, was it? <laughs> was it uh, was it exciting? I mean, were people in town excited that there was a movie being made here at the oh, time? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it, and, and you know, you, they had to shoo them off because uh, they could they would, would get in the way of the taking of the pictures. And, um, it, 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 you know, it was a big deal for Salina, Kansas. We were a small town. And they were here um, maybe five or six days at the most. And they probably filmed maybe 20 or 30 minutes worth of, they filmed, uh, they filmed down at the river. Uh, they filmed the, the elevators and the mill there. And then uh, they filled up, uh, filmed up on uh, the hill, the the house that uh, that the friend that he visited lived in, and it was one of the houses that faced the golf course on Marymount Road or the well, Country Club Road, I guess that is, and uh, they took quite a number of pictures from there. The they filmed the outside of the house, and I'm not sure whether they did any filming in the house or not. Yes, you know they can, they can make the inside look like it was part of the outside. Right. So it, you know, I don't know whether they went in that or not. But it was one of the two-story brick houses that was that faces uh, 
Country Club Road. Okay. I was under the impression that Slina got picked to do that because it had a pretty river, but I guess that's not true from what you're saying. Well, uh, <laughs> it had a river. It, I mean, it, it was the theme of the movie, if you've watched it, is that she is a, she is a girl living in a small town, small Midwestern town, and Salina fit that bill. And they wanted uh, the, the, uh, the, the character that played uh, Holden's friend. His father was in the grain business, supposedly, and so they've they got the pictures of the silos, uh, the grain grain silos, and the mill. The mill was running all the time that they ran the that they took the the pictures. Oh wow! And your dad worked there. Uh, yes, he mm -hmm. was the he was the general superintendent at that time of all of the mills, wow. and. Uh, uh, and, uh, they did not get inside the mills. They weren't interested in any of that. They wanted the river, which they got a picture of, and uh, then they filmed. But but in those days, the dam was, I mean, it just kind of trickled over it. There wasn't a, a waterfall like you see in the movie. They had to go to Hutchison, I believe, is where they filmed that. And that was... The, the, the low flow was just because there was less water that year or something? Uh, the low flow was probably be, uh, because of that, yes. Okay. Uh, it, 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 it never really flowed through Salina. The only time it flowed heavily that I remember is when, uh, is when we had heavy rains. Yeah. It's the Smoky Hill River and you know, it's uh, uh, there isn't much water in the Spooky Hill River. You know, and dur during most times, so they had the picnic that they showed. You know, out where the people dance, and she did her dance. Uh, that was, I believe, it was filmed in in Hutchison. It was not filmed in Salina. Okay. And uh, they, but what they really filmed in Salina was him running along the railroad tracks and hiding under the waterfall. And then the house up on the hill. And uh, those were the ma major scenes that came from, from uh, Salina. Okay. Anything else? Uh, you got anything? Because <laughs> that covered a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, a film is a composite of a lot of things, you know, a lot of different uh, areas, and particularly in this one. My mother uh, was in Up the Academy. Are you familiar with that, Robert, that one? Yeah. She, uh, I think they left her on the cutting room floor, but uh, she went over and stood. She wanted to watch them film it, and she wanted to be in the picture, and she was. They took pictures of her, but uh, the film was radically changed. Up, up the Academy was radically, rad radically changed when they, uh, from what, they did here in Salina at St. John's Military School. <laughs> but I mean, the fact that we've had two uh, two films shot in Salina, I think, has said something. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how, Hollywood never heard of Salina, Kansas, so how they found us, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, well, so Kim Novak, if, how old would you have been at that point? Were you a senior? Do you remember? I, I was. I think I was a junior when a junior? they did that. Your age? Okay. Yeah, I'm probably his age, and 17. I looked like him. I was tall and thin, and uh, uh, and I believe that it was it was in my junior year that in the some the, the, uh, in the that they did the filming, and I. I don't even remember what time of the year it was, but with the weather being like it was, it was probably uh, in, in September, maybe August or September, maybe October. Um, and they uh, they took some snippets from Salina, uh, uh, those, those short views from Salina, but I don't think you see the, the city of Salina actually in the film at all. 
No, but there are some scenes that are recognizable. Like, oh, they are yeah. recognizable, yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, you know, the one where he runs along the railroad tracks, that, that's all from Salina. And um, there, there are, you know, they used as much as they could, but the, the, it's, a, it's, a, it's a compilation of, of several towns. There are several towns in Kansas that were involved in it, and I... I'm not sure, but I think that the that the uh, uh, the, the the one where, that shows them dancing and, and that sort of thing. I don't think that it was even in Hutchison. That was at a town close to Hutchison. Oh, really? Okay. And I don't remember the name of the town. Okay. I Is know that when I saw the film, I, in fact, I have it in my library. Uh, uh, it's hard to recognize uh, a lot of what I see in there because that wasn't the way Salina was. Yeah. Okay. But still a, a fun memory, I bet. Well, how, how often do you get to watch a movie being filmed? <laughs> <laughs> I've never gotten to do that. <laughs> uh, I, you know, it's a very laborious task, and it's... Uh, they, they'll work for two or three hours to set up a scene that may take three or four minutes. I mean, it just, it's, uh, I was really amazed at, at, the, at the, 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 what they have to go through in order to get the pictures. Yeah. Now, they may not have to do that with all films, but the, the, certainly Picnic was that way. And you watched that from the top of the grain elevator? That, oh, that's yeah. way high up there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I grew up in those, so mm -hmm. I, I knew my way around. I went up and stood in, there's a, an addition on to the, the mill, and that's a tall brick building. And, uh, and I, I was up in that and, and peeking out the window at them. I'm sure they cut that out. <laughs> but I was, you know, I was able to get in where most people couldn't get in. I, I was able to get in there. And, I knew my way around the mill, so I went up there, watched them do it, and I must say it was not all of that interesting. I mean, it was kind of neat to see the, the lights and the camera and all the things that they do with it, but you hardly ever saw the actors. They had stand-ins, but you hardly ever saw the actors. Oh. Uh, they Only when they got it the way they wanted it did they bring the, the actors and actresses in. and. That they would refilm it. They would film it, you know, and it may be a segment that was not more than four or five minutes long, you know. It, and then they'd spli I guess they splice that in, and they, and that's the way they did with Up the Academy. Uh -huh. A lot of people were out at uh, when they filmed Up the Academy, and the the film uh, wasn't anything at all like what it was supposed to be like. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, did you, so it doesn't sound like you're, you have a particularly strong uh, connection to this river project in particular. I mean, it, well, you, I, are you, are you? I, well, I wouldn't say that. Don't, okay. don't say that. Brad, okay. Brad, it get all over me. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I, I, you know, I think it's a, it's a good, it's going to be a nice thing. I'm, I'm, I question uh, how much use it's going to get, but uh, it, it, anytime you clean up an area like that, I mean, there's a thousand trees and, and, and saplings of that riverbank, and so you really don't even see the river, and of course there's no flow through it. What they've, they've shut the flow down right now, and they're trying to get, trying to get those trees and things out of there, and it's going to take a lot of work to get it from what it is to what it, they want it to look like. And it may turn out to be a really good thing, but they they built it up like it was going to be just like San Antonio, and it, there's nothing they can do in Salida, Kansas to make it look like San Antonio. I mean, they have a lot of, you know, a lot of restaurants and stores and all kinds of things by that river. So I don't, I don't think we'll ever be able to do that. But if they improve the looks of it, I think that's great. And what expense that's going to take, I, I don't really know, but it's 
not going to be cheap. No. Yeah. But it that river that that, that river flooded every year, uh, and they had no way to control that. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, when do you remember some of the floods? Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, they flooded. You know, long past, it flooded when I was in junior high school. Okay. Because uh, uh, we used to walk down and look at the, you know, look at the water. And they, had, they had controlled it by then to some extent, or maybe we didn't have the rains, I don't know. But uh, it, but uh, when when you look at the pictures that I have of the, of the dad took of, of the river, you can't see the end of it. You, you know, he was standing on one bank, and you can't see the end of the water. He, the whole Oakdale Park was covered. Wow. And that's and it did that almost every year. No wonder they decided they had a flood problem. <laughs> uh, oh, they have a pro Well, they did, and they and they fixed the flood problem. I mean, they put in the flood control. We haven't. Had that at least that that problem. Uh, we had a home out on East North Street on the on the Smoky Hill River, and uh, so we watched that the floods. You know that it would come up in our pastures, and uh, almost every year, to some extent. Some of the times it came up quite a ways. We never had any problems in the house, but we because it was built up quite high. By then they were. They were had uh, regulations on how you could build and you know how much uh, and how high you had to be to avoid it. So we never, uh, we really never had any trouble with it. But that river floods a lot when when they have the rains like we're having right now. I expect if you go out in the country and look at the Smoky Hill River, it's probably out of the banks in some areas. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Do you have your dad's pictures? Uh, yes, I, they're eight millimeter. Oh, it's a video. It, yeah, they're eight, they're eight millimeter. They are they are stills. Oh, okay. He bought a an eight millimeter Kodak camera to film my mother when she brought me home from the from the uh, hospital. And uh, we lived on Sunset Drive in those days, in, in a brand new house on Sunset Drive. And, and uh, that's where they brought us, that brought me. Oh, wow. And he filmed the river out of its banks. Out of its banks, yeah. Well, I, I think the reason that he did, he was trying to test the camera and figure out what it was capable of doing. And it really had very few settings on it. Uh, I used to have it, but uh, over the years, I think it's gone the way of the dodo bird. I, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Uh, okay. Got any other questions? Can you think of anything else? I that's pretty much everything I wanted to hear, so yeah, I think that was good. Well, thank you. I hope I hope it was. <laughs> My memory is not as good as it used to be, but I do remember a lot about that. <laughs> Pretty memorable thing to get to do. Oh well, it meet was. Kim Novak. Yeah, it, she was pretty. She was a pretty lady. Uh, when she when she was young, she was uh, a a, really a beauty. But you know, they 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 put this makeup on you in order to get your features, I guess, the way they want them and. And it, it, I would, that was the thing that surprised me the most was, you know, the fact that she was, you know, she was still in makeup when she came to the, because I suppose some of that they leave on until they get the filming done and then they take it off. I, I don't know that much about makeup, but she was pretty heavily made up when she came there. <laughs> She's very quiet, her, her handlers, you know, took, you know, uh, to, uh, she said hello to me and tonight I said hello thank you for coming and she went uh, I, said, I showed her upstairs and down to the drama room where Jack Kelly had his classes and 
you know, you know who Jack Kelly was? He probably don't remember him, mm -hmm. but he was a drama teacher there for many years. Very put on a lot of plays and was very good. Cool. Well. <laughs> you better shut that off. You'll break your camera. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>